Okay, I think alive. Cool, yep. Hey guys, what's going on? Sean is here. Welcome to this live stream. In this live stream, I'm going to talk about AdWords compliant landing pages. Basically, how to create ad, how to create landing pages that are going to be approved on AdWords. Okay, so um, the, the reason actually we're talking about this is that it's because a lot of affiliate marketers are having this issue. A lot of affiliate marketers are having issues getting their ads approved all over the place, not just AdWords, but in this obviously in, the, in this particular live stream, I'm going to talk about AdWords, but uh, this whole live stream is going to give you an idea in general how to uh, structure land, your landing pages so they're going to get approved in uh, these uh, big advertising networks, okay? So we're just going to wait maybe like 20 seconds for everyone else to come in and then I'm going to get us started, all right? So yeah, because obviously some people are usually, you know, they get notifications after a while so let's just wait a couple of seconds so while we wait let me actually give you a background on this live stream because a couple of days ago probably two three days ago i did a live stream on landing pages i did a live stream and in that live stream i actually created a landing page i was explaining how you can create landing pages for your affiliate offers so in that live stream someone asked Hey, uh, can you teach us how to create landing pages that are AdWords compliant, AdWords friendly? So um, that was just a really good idea for a video, and so I just decided to do this live stream to talk about it. Okay, because this is again, this is such a big topic. Um, a lot of people are having an issue with AdWords. A lot of fleet marketers, especially if you're new to online business, you you gotta know that it's almost impossible sometimes to do advertising on AdWords because they have such restrictions on affiliate uh, marketers and you know fleet links and all of that stuff so that's why obviously when it comes to AdWords you need to have your own landing page okay that's a must you definitely need to have your own landing page and um, and that's um, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video in this video I'm gonna talk about elements that you need to add to your landing pages to get them approved on AdWords okay so um, and also actually I forgot to add something this to the to the slides so I just put it so let's talk about AdWords compliant landing pages okay AdWords friendly landing pages so there are a couple of things that you need to um, have on your pages if you want to get them approved on AdWords and don't worry about it guys I'm, I'm first first actually I'm gonna go over this whole thing and then I'm gonna show you an example okay because I'm not just gonna leave you with a couple of slides okay so um, let's get started the first thing is your landing page should be on your own domain. Now, this is really, really important. That's that goes to you know a problem that a lot of people are having when it comes to getting getting their ads approved. Uh, you need to have your own domain. For example, uh, when you if you use a software to create your landing page like ClickFunnels or LeadPages.net, uh, they're you're not they're gonna give you the landing page on a subdomain. You know, on on lead pages, you're gonna have something like your name dot lead pages dot net or something like that and click funnels same thing a subdomain dot click funnels dot com I believe um, so in order to get them approved you, you you need to put these landing pages on your own domains okay you cannot have them on those subdomains because they're not gonna get approved okay you need to have them on the website on your own domain whatever you want to call it doesn't matter just have it on your own domain and also don't use you know some words like money and all of that stuff in your domain just uh, have a really normal domain maybe under your own name or something like that just put these landing pages on your own domain that's really 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 important okay otherwise they're not gonna get approved and the next thing is a small navigation menu can increase your chance of getting approved okay now let me show you an example of this one actually I have it up here so this is a webinar page that I used to do run ads. I don't run ads to this page anymore, but I used to run ads. And what I did was I added a small navigation down here, and this actually helps a lot to uh, to make to make your landing page more like a website than just a landing page. Okay, so uh, because for some reason AdWords in general does not like. Uh, landing pages just alone landing pages so it's a good idea to have uh, menus somewhere in this case I just added to the footer so yeah it just helps to really get it 
uh, get it approved okay so just add it it's not that complicated have a contact page and you know disclaimer and all of that so I'm gonna talk about it but yeah have a contact page some and link to some other you know other pages on the on your website on your on your domain so that's that that's the second one so the third one is the most important one and that is than not making any claims do not make any claims Now this is a big issue and uh, if you if you actually go into the affiliate marketing niche you're gonna see that a lot of people are making claims on their pages to get people opt in to uh, to their landing pages and uh, although these claims might be true but AdWords in general does not approve uh, any claims you know like if you for example if you're promoting a weight loss product let's say if you say uh, you're gonna lose 20 pounds tomorrow or you're gonna, you're gonna lose pound, 20 pound, pounds in next week or something like that that's a claim you're not gonna get approved okay same thing goes with money same thing goes with a lot of other things okay so do not make any claims simple as that so the th next one is be transparent on what the offer is about okay so this is something that people sometimes try to cover uh, for example they try to just um, not mention what people are getting into okay so this this is this is something that is really hard to explain but just be clear on what you're actually getting people into okay in this case I'm just in this case let me actually bring up the page in this case I'm actually saying that hey it's a free live workshop it's a uh, webinar it's a live webinar right so just be clear on what uh, what you're actually inviting people into okay so again I'm just saying it's a webinar so be clear on what you're actually uh, sending people to that's another thing and the ne next thing is don't use pop-ups this is really obvious um, not no one actually is using pop-ups anymore as far as I know okay but uh, some people might and if you're one of them do not use pop-ups uh, if for example pop-ups in this case when, I, when it comes to pop-up I'm talking about uh, for example when uh, someone actually clicks away from the page and some you know something pops in and be like hey sign up to this to get this that app adwords does not approve that okay so don't use any pop-ups or exit pop-ups or anything like that and the last one which is like like the most important one is adding a disclaimer okay so let me actually go back here and you gotta add your disclaimer in two different ways now this is this part is really is the part that you gotta get right you need to have a link to your disclaimer page on the website on the landing page also you need to actually have your disclaimer down here at, at least a part of it okay not all of it obviously so this is really really important and sometimes actually once I was on the phone with Google AdWords and I was just trying to do my best to figure out what is wrong with my page so I can fix it and one of the issues that they mentioned was that the disclaimer was not big enough the font on it was not big enough so make sure that disclaimer is readable you know the font is in a, a size that is readable obviously because it's important again it's one of those things that you're actually telling people that what they're getting into okay um, and then obviously have a link to your disclaimer page too. have a link to your full disclaimer page it's really important so these are things uh, that are important when it comes to doing a creating a AdWord friendly landing page okay so guys that's pretty much it for this short live stream let me know if you have any questions I'll leave a comment like this live stream and subscribe to my channel for more live streams and videos every day I'm doing live streams I'm doing a video and then next day I'm, I'm, I'm doing live stream so it's gonna be a video live stream video live stream video live stream so you know it's um, I'm just trying to uh, put as much as content as possible on my channel and uh, and at some point actually in a and probably in future near future I'm gonna do one video and one live stream a day okay so hopefully that's gonna be after a launch of our city so let me know if you have any questions uh, leave a comment if you have any questions uh, if you if it's a question that is you know that, that requires a lot of you know, a, a lot of explanation I'll answer it in the next live stream maybe okay so 
that's pretty much it for this live stream guys let me know if you have any questions also click on the link in the description if you want to work with me uh, and that link is going to take you to my workshop free training workshop and there you're going to actually learn affiliate marketing from me directly if you want to learn affiliate marketing and if you want to earn big commissions online all right so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in next videos and next live streams have a good rest of your day and night